cramp him arm, cramp him arm, cramp him arm, cramp him arm, cramp him arm. Welcome back to the Great British Bake Off. It's week seven and we are still going. Last week was chocolate week and your creations were pure imagination. So good. Really, really wish that we could judge your bakes like the real pollen proof from Bake Off because they look amazing. Well, after chocolate week, we decided that this week should be healthy week. So this week the idea is that you bake something that has a healthy-ish ingredient. So something healthy in your bake, but your bake still tastes amazing. You can make whatever you wish, but something healthy must feature. It's a flap and we are very excited to see what you come up with this week. We are really rooting for you. Here are the bakes that we picked to do this week. <laughs> Get it? Because you pick fruit. <laughs> oh my goodness, puns. I'm going to make a black forest cake, but I don't have cherries, so I'm just going to use frozen fruit that I already have in the freezer. I just made a regular 888 and 4 ounce cake mixture with flour, sugar, butter and eggs. I then took frozen fruit that I found in my freezer, weighed out five ounces of it, pureed it and mixed it through bit by bit. Then I added half a cup of cocoa powder and mixed it through well. I split the mixture between two cake pans and popped them in the oven for half an hour. I started to make my two fillings while the cakes were cooling. I pureed more fruit and added ice and sugar to that to thicken it up so that it didn't squish out the middle of the cake. I whipped up some double cream. I'm finished. Uh -oh. <laughs> fillings in two separate piping bags and pipe them in circles round the inside of the cake. Pop the other cake on the top and dusted it with icing sugar. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <sighs> so, so good. I decided to make a rhubarb and apple crumble tart with rhubarb that we grow in our own garden. I went out to the garden to pick some rhubarb and my mum helped me to cut off any of the bits that we couldn't use and soak it in water to make sure it was nice and clean. I then made a really simple short crust pastry by rubbing flour, butter and salt together and then adding two tablespoons of water to bring it together. I rolled out the pastry and lined the dish that it's going to be baking in. To cook this I used a method called blind baking where you use something to weigh down the pastry to cook on its own to make sure it doesn't bubble up and then add the filling after. To make the filling, I peeled and chopped apples. Please remember to peel them before you chop them because this made it so much harder. And then I just chopped up the freshly washed rhubarb. To a pan, I added water, butter, the rhubarb and apple, sugar, cinnamon, and a dash of orange juice. 
I then brought this to a simmer and let it cook until the apple and rhubarb were soft. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks a bit weird right now, but it smells really good. So, I think that's a win. So we crack here. Unsure what that's going to mean for the rest of it, but staying hopeful. I then added the filling to the cooked pastry and topped it with a crumble topping that I made and finished it off with some almonds. I then popped it in the oven for about 20 minutes. Now it's your turn. Really excited to see your creations this week. I'm sure we'll be giving you all a round of applause. Thank you again to all you lovely people who are continuing every week to get involved. If you're sharing Bake Off with friends and family, if you're helping out junior bakers in the kitchen, we really appreciate you guys. We would not be allowed to continue making this if it wasn't for you guys. And we're just really glad that this is making you smile and it's making us smile getting to do it. So thank you. And if you have an idea for a challenge or theme one week, let us know. Star Baker will be announced on Monday. So stay safe and happy baking. There's Slugs in the in the, <laughs> the <laughs> leaf a wee bit. You just pull them off. <laughs> that wasn't nice.